this is the most important year so far for NCAM. We are showing three separate tech previews. One is uh, integration of games engine technology in order to hopefully get what are photorealistic results in real-time rendering. So we're showing integration with an engine called Unreal Engine, which is Epic Games. We're showing real-time depth this is the second thing. So typically the problem with graphics is it doesn't understand whether you're in front or behind something. With our system, actually, it now understands whether you're in front or behind, where you are in space, and it's re reconstructing Luke in real time. So you can see it's a completely three-dimensional scene, and the camera's being handheld. So it's doing the camera track, but it's also doing real-time depth. And it's compositing him, and it knows where he is in space. And so we can interact with graphics and go in, in and out of graphics and interact fully with them. And the two 3D worlds, the virtual 3D world and the real world, are matched up exactly so we can understand and, and do this depth compositing in real time. And the third thing we're showing is something called real-time relighting. And in order to make CG objects look real and integrated with the real world, we need to understand the lighting and the environment we're in. And we have the technology to do that. So what we have here is a uncalibrated light rig. Um, we're, we're taking the light from the environment. We're getting the directions, the colors, and the intensities of the lights around us, and then converting them into the digital world and using them to light the digital objects so that we can much better integrate our CG with our film plate. So one of the things that people are very, very perceptive about is, because we look at it every day, is changes to light and we we can with with CG and augmented reality we can tell that however photoreal something is unless it has the correct lighting it just looks wrong it's just you may not be able to put your finger on it but it just it looks uncanny it just doesn't look quite right so what we're trying to show here is that we can by taking the lighting feeding it into the NCAM server and using the the other sensors that are part of the NCAM bar, we can take these real light sources and use them to better integrate the objects. So, for example, here we've got NCAM, and we've got a we've got a light probe which feeds into the server, and we're able to change all of the lighting, change the lighting in real time, and have the the CG object accept that lighting and look like it's better integrated into the scene. Because we don't have, we don't calibrate the lights, we capture everything in real time, we're able to use a torch, use any light in the scene. For example, if a cloud went over our object, the shadows would react accordingly. So here we can see all of the shadows moving in real time, all of the highlights being affected in the same way, in a correct way, just as if this tree was a real object. All of NCAM's technology is real time. Everything we do is real time. Nothing we do is ever post-processed. And when I say real time, I mean real time, and I don't mean near real time. So a lot of our technology today is using sports uh, around the globe, so outdoors and indoors in studio for typical augmented reality. What we're seeing now and the new technology we're introducing is a big uptake within television episodic. It's within film for previs, pre-visualization. And hopefully what we're showing is technology one day will be able to be used for real-time visual effects.